Hello everyone. What is Windows File Systems? Windows File System is a method that is used by the operating system to store, organize and manage files and folders on a storage device. To put it simply, file system is a collection of methods and structures used by the operating system for the arrangement of data on any digital storage device such as hard drive, SSD or USB drive. For example, every time you open a file on your computer, your operating system uses its file system internally to load it from the storage device. Or when you copy, edit or delete a file, file system handles it under the hood. Without a file system, storage device would contain a big chunk of data stored back to back and the operating system wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Data would be scattered all over the drive without any organization and your computer wouldn't know how to find the data it needs. However, with a file system, data would be in order and organized so your computer knows where to find the data it is looking for. Now everything begins with partitioning. Most operating system allows you to format a partition based on a set of file systems. For example, if you are formatting a partition on Windows, you can choose between FAT32 XFAT and NTFS file systems. Now what is FAT32? FAT32 stands for File Allocation Table 32. It was introduced by Microsoft in 1997 with Windows 95. FAT32 is compatible with any device as long as they have USB port. Although it is considered well suited for USB devices and hard drives, however it comes with certain limitations. One of the limitations is that file size cannot be more than 4 GB. So for instance, if you have a video file more than 4 GB, you will get an error that the file size is too big and you won't be able to store on that device. Another limitation is security and encryption features. FAT32 does not support file permissions, encryption and compression. These limitations are acceptable for external storage devices but are problematic for internal devices. Therefore, users should move on to the newer and more advanced file systems like XFAT and NTFS. XFAT stands for Extended File Allocation Table. It was released by Microsoft in 2006 with Windows Vista and included significant changes and improvements to FAT32. This file system allows users to store files larger than 4 GB, which was the limitation of FAT32. XFAT can support a maximum file size of 16 XB, which is almost limitless. In other words, unlike FAT32, you are not going to run into an error if you transfer a file more than 4 GB. But the downside of XFAT is that it's not compatible as its predecessor FAT32. Mac operating system and all versions of Windows support XFAT, but some Linux don't. The best scenario to use this file system is when you want no limit on your file sizes and want to be compatible with almost every device. Now let's go through NTFS, stands for New Technology File System, released by Microsoft in 1993 with Windows 3.1. NTFS is the default file system used in Windows. For example, when you install Windows on your system, it will format the drive using NTFS by default. Similar to XFAT, NTFS partition and file sizes are large enough that users won't reach the limit. In addition to that, this file system has features such as security permissions where you can allow or deny access to users and shadow copies for backups also known as previous versions. Other features include chain journal in case of crash, disk quota limits, hard links and so on. Almost none of these features are available in the previous formats and are vital for operating system drives. NTFS file system is highly efficient at what it does, but is not as compatible with other devices as XFAT and FAT32. For example, NTFS is fully compatible with Windows, but Mac operating system and some versions of Linux have read-only access. Now, NTFS has the following benefits. It can keep track of changes made to a file. In the event of a sudden power outage or file corruption, NTFS prevents data loss. NTFS also supports encryption and read-only permissions for files, 
so you can encrypt your files with a password or set them to read only status to prevent any changes. All of these benefits make NTFS preferred file system for Windows. So this file system is best suited for users who only have Windows computers and drives that support this file system. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video.